I'm Dennis Laguerre. And I'm Daryl Liggins. And we're here getting down to the brass tacks and hard facts of historical gated Y operations. We're here today talking about gated Y operations, specifically legacy operations. In the past, gated Y operations were commonly used and often very successful. Today, it seems to be a topic of much discussion, some departments even eliminating gated Y operations altogether. So what has changed? We're here today taking a look at that. What we have to understand from the historical side of things is that it was very different in the past. Most pumpers were either 500 or 750, so typically you only had two outlets or three outlets. And then all the fire attack was done with two and a half inch hose, and most of all the supply was done with two and a half inch hose. So typically you had only one size of hose on the rig, two and a half inch hose. It was both supply and attack. Ultimately around the 1950s, they introduced small line to the fire service. It was inch and a half hose. When inch and a half hose got on the rigs, it came with great success. It was very good at extinguishing small fires and the membership obviously liked it well. So initially the gated Y, you could put on the pump panel and split one of those outlets into two legs. It's in the control of the pump operator right in his sight. But all of a sudden, they might only have 200 feet issued to them. They wanna use it at a farther distance away from the rig because it's working very well. So one option is you could take a Y, put it on the end of a two and a half and have two legs of 100 feet. It's important to remember when talking about legacy fires that the fuel loads were much lower. We typically had smaller homes. We typically had standard dimension lumber and we didn't have synthetic materials that we have in the homes today. We wanted to show the legacy flow. We had 200 feet of two and a half, the gated Y, then 100 feet of inch and three quarter line each. The real issue here is not nozzle pressure, and you'll see that later as we go through our experiments. The issue here is in the trunk line, the trunk line differential. Can the trunk line service both flows and one flow without hydraulically impacting it extremely one way or the other? There's four possible things that happen when you deploy a Y operation. First, the first leg starts to flow and you set your pump pressure for one line in operation. An officer can come up and then flow the second line. If you don't make an adjustment in pressure, that nozzle will always rob water from the other nozzle. Then maybe the pump operator has been informed or he saw that a second line has been deployed. He would adjust the pressure and set the relief valve for two lines in operation. Now, both flowing correctly on the fire ground, the nozzles will typically not operate in a synchronous manner. One nozzle will be open and the other nozzle will be shut. The other pressure has to go to the other line because the relief valve has to be set for the highest pressure on the fire ground. This would also be true in a governor rig. So what's important here is the results. We have two nozzles, 95 at 100 PSI. One line flowing, we got 101 GPM at 100 PSI. When a second outlet was used without increasing pump discharge pressure, we got 179 GPM total and both nozzles read 80 PSI. So roughly both lines are flowing around 90 gallons a minute. Then you would have to increase pump discharge pressure. When we got that, we got back to 100 PSI on each nozzle. Basically, both of them are flowing 100 like we expect. Now, obviously on the fire ground, one nozzle will sometimes shut down while the other remains open. And what we got there is 110 gallons a minute at 125 PSI. This essentially means that all the nozzle reaction stayed in a safe range of somewhere between 40 and 65. Very manageable on the fire ground. So as you can see in conclusion, that legacy setups with legacy flows worked very well and didn't cause a significant hydraulic complication when using gated Y operations. Next, we'll look at modern flows with gated Y setups and see if it causes some complications.